Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from me, Pickles Parker Reviews. Now today I've got another Series 13 news video for you and it's kind of a sequel video to a video I did about a month ago where I spoke about some filming pictures that featured a weeping angel and I speculated whether the weeping angels would actually come back because while it was possible that the, the filming pictures could be for Series 13 there was also a possibility that they were actually filming for the Weeping Angels mobile game, I believe it's called The, Win the uh, Lonely Assassins, which is coming out, I don't know, but there's a mobile app featuring the Weeping Angels that's coming out called The Lonely Assassins. So many people, including myself, speculated that it could actually be filming for that, and not actually filming for Doctor Who Series 13, because ultimately we were hot off the heels of getting those Sontaran filming pictures that confirm the Sontarans to be returning for Series 13 and I thought would it also be the Weeping Angels but also there's a high chance that it isn't going to be them. I think there was a line in Revolution of the Daleks that kind of hints at setting up both the Sontarans and the Weeping Angels trolls and gravel monsters which you know could be like a wink wink nudge nudge hint at those two coming back in the series and also we got the weeping angel cameo also in revolution of the daleks in the prison where the doctor is also incarcerated so ultimately it was seeming more and more likely that the weeping angels may make an appearance in series 13 but nothing concrete because it was still up in the air with those set photos could ultimately be from the video game from the mobile game and not from series 13 however we've got some new filming pictures that essentially confirm that the weeping angels are going to be in series 13 now we've got some filming pictures set on a beach i'm not sure which beach this is it could be the usual cardiff beach that they tend to use like the one in doomsday and also time of angels ironically another angel story i'm not sure if it is that beach or just you know a random beach somewhere i'll be honest i have no idea but it's in a beach and you can see that there's one weeping angel there with one hand over the face only one hand, although that could be because the actor isn't performing at the moment, so, you know, they're not actually in character, so they're just kind of moving around. That's very possible. Or it could be, you know, more significant with the only one hand covering. Who knows? Who's to say? But there's only one Weeping Angel here on this beach, and obviously you can see the cast and crew all around. So clearly they're not actually filming in that direct moment, although they are actually, you know, just probably taking a break from the scene there, currently filming featuring the Weeping Angel on a beach. Now you could say, isn't this similar to the mobile game pictures? The Doctor isn't in it, so how do we know that this is actually confirmed for Series 13 and not for something else? Now that's what I thought, but there is also some other images with Jodie Whittaker on that same beach. So that same beach also filming with this Weeping Angel, you can see Jodie there. So Jodie Whittaker is there with the Weeping Angel. This essentially confirms that the Weeping Angels are returning for Series 13. Before it was speculation, but now it is confirmed that the Weeping Angels are returning in Series 13 alongside the Sontarans who are also returning in Series 13. So those are the two monsters that we know will be returning in Series 13. I also think that... Um, Sasha Dewan is returning as a master. I believe there was a picture or something of him essentially getting a COVID test with Mandip Gill, which would essentially, you know, suggest that he's coming back in Series 13. So those are the three villains, Weeping Angel, Sontarans, and the Master that we know are coming back in Series 13. The Daleks or the Cybermen, we don't know. It would be likely that the Daleks will return in a New Year special, um, whenever that may be. Um, to complete, uh, you know, this trilogy of Daleks New Year specials that we seem to be getting. Although that's more speculation, we have no proof on that. And the Cybermen, I don't know, it's nothing's been confirmed, so who knows. And obviously we could get an appearance from the Ood, Sycorax and Silence because they all had cameos in the prison. Although maybe those are just for cameos, but they've obviously got the costumes out of storage. So who knows, they could make another appearance in Series 13 also. 
Yeah, I've not got much to say in this video, mainly because I did a long video speaking about those Weeping Angels returning uh, about a month ago. I speculated whether I'd want them to return. I did a recap of my thoughts on the previous Angel stories and what I would do with the Weeping Angels. It's all in that video, essentially, so I, I don't really have much, I guess, to, to say in this video, given that not much time has really passed since we had those initial pictures and what we're getting now. However, I do think it would be interesting to see Chibnall or whoever writing the angels we've only ever had Moffat writing them the three stories um blink time of angels Legend stone and the andrews take manhattan the only three dedicated angel stories were all written by Moffat, and i believe before revolution of the daleks all the cameo appearances were also written by Moffat. so the weeping angels haven't had all too much variety i believe actually there was a cameo appearance in the god complex which is obviously written by whithouse so ignore me there with that cameo point but now it'll be interesting to see another writer write them obviously they haven't really properly appeared since 2012 christ i feel old yes so ultimately you know th th there's been a lot of time in between for them to really think of an idea i hope it's something unique i hope it's a great story with the angels obviously with Chibnall writing it it swings around about so you never really know whether it's just going to be a bog standard story but not as good as what we've seen before in terms of monsters like Resolution or Ascension of the Sidemen which were fine I mean you guys know I don't really like Resolution Ascension of the Sidemen isn't really amazing and it's just kind of boring what we've seen before or he'll do interesting ideas like Haunting of Idea, Daddy or Revolution of the Daleks but ultimately set stuff up that doesn't really go anywhere. That seems to be, you know, the track record in terms of Chibnall and him writing villains, unfortunately. Who knows? Maybe it won't even be Chibnall writing it, actually. I, I'd probably much rather see someone else write it. Um, because I, I just think that would be quite interesting. I'd like to see, actually, I'll tell you who I'd like to see write The Weeping Angels. Maxine Alderton, who wrote I'm Haunting of Idiodati. Because the horror stuff in that story was actually really good. So I'd really like to see her, you know, tackle The Weeping Angels. Maybe with Emma Sullivan also directing. But who's to say? If those set photos on the streets that I reported on a month ago are also part of the same story, we could have another location hopping story. Like, um, obviously what we've gotten with Spyfall, Praxius and Revolution of the Daleks, which would be fine. I am getting a bit tired of those stories because when Chibnall writes them, they seem to, you know, fall into the same tropes, really. But, you know, who's to say who knows? And that Sontaran story seem to be fluctuating between modern day and also the Crimean War setting. So, you know, we could have a lots of, you know, globe time hopping stories. Who knows, but hopefully they don't sound too similar. Who knows? Anyway, this isn't going to be the longest video just because, as I said, I covered most of my thoughts about the Weeping Angels returning in that previous video. So, you know, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, I'll leave the link in the description to that video just so if you want to hear my thoughts on the previous angel stories and what my thoughts would be on them really returning and my thoughts for different stories with them and what they could do it's all in that video so if you want to know that i'll leave a link in the description so you can find that but in terms of these confirmed set photos it's certainly interesting maybe they'll be doing like a lone weeping angel story that'd be quite interesting maybe it washes up on a beach somewhere who knows but it's certainly interesting getting the different filming locations and ultimately it's just interesting to see some confirmation of different things in series 13 they're not keeping it as much under wraps as they were obviously with series 12 and 11 that's probably just down to covid they can't really afford to keep it under wraps because well, they just don't have time or, or money or, or people to do it because it's already taking twice as long and it has twice as much effort put into it because of all the covid restrictions so ultimately you know stuff's going to get leaked now more so than with series 11 and 12 that's just unfortunately given good for me because i get to report on it it, but ultimately not really good for the show and as much as I would like reporting on it I would also like surprises but you know it swings around roundabouts ultimately but yeah the Weeping Angels are confirmed to be in series 13 we had some rumors we had some set photos before but now we've got confirmation of the Weeping Angels returning in series 13 by them appearing on a beach and Judy Whisker also appearing in the same set photos so you know that's a confirmation they are appearing in series 13 but, you know, whatever, you know, um, that's what I think. What do you think, though? Drop me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want the Weeping Angels to return? Do you not? 
What are your predictions for the actual story of what this could be? Whatever you think, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd be really interested to hear it. If you like this video, drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos and keep up to date with Doctor News because, you know, I will be doing that. And also hit the bell if you don't want to miss any videos, you know, it gives you notifications, all good stuff. Um, sorry for the constant news videos, I will promise I will be doing some more different videos, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for the increase in views in this past week or so that the channel has been getting. The videos have been doing really well recently, so that is amazing to see. But yeah, whatever you think, draw your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you guys for watching. And of course, a good... Goodbye.